This is a review of the sun, moon, and stars. Please have your notebook out and make sure you're taking notes. Before we move any further, we need to make sure we have a deep understanding of the difference between rotation and revolution. A rotation is when the Earth spins around its axis. The Earth spins in this direction. One rotation, one full rotation, is 24 hours. It takes the Earth 24 hours to spin all the way around. This is what creates night and day. Revolution, or another word for that is orbit, is how long it takes an object to go around another object. In this instance, how long it takes the Earth to orbit or revolve around the Sun. The time it takes the Earth to revolve around the Sun is 365 days. But if you want to get technical, it actually takes the Earth 365 days, 5 hours, 48 minutes, and 46 seconds, which is why we have an extra day in February once every four years, something called leap year. So please remember, rotation is 24 hours, is when something spins, and a revolution for Earth is 365 days, and that's how long it takes the Earth to go around the sun. Both revolution and rotation will account for the way the stars, the sun, and the moon appear in the night sky. On the next slide, I want you to pay very close attention to how the stars are moving. It appears as if the stars are moving from the left to the right, which is from the east to the west. Stars appear to rise on the eastern side of the Earth and set on the western side. Although you and I both know the stars aren't moving, it's the Earth that's spinning, but pay attention to how they appear to move. On this next slide, you are now facing north and there's going to be a little label that labels the North Star, and I want you to pay attention to how the stars move. They're still moving the same as the last time, but this time the camera is pointed straight north. But the Earth does not just rotate. It also revolves. An object that moves in a circle around another object revolves. Earth travels in a circle around the sun. The time it takes for a planet to circle the sun is called a year. It takes 365 days for Earth to circle the sun. The sun and Earth move in two ways. They rotate and revolve. Long ago, People thought that the Earth stood still while the Sun moved around it each day. We now know that the Sun does not move around the Earth, but the Earth rotates or turns. Earth also spins on an imaginary line called an axis. Earth's axis is tilted a little bit, making the Earth look a little tipped. At the north end of the Earth's axis is the North Pole. At the south end of the Earth's axis is the South Pole. The Earth is always turning, even though you can't feel it. Day and night happen because Earth turns. When your side of Earth is facing the Sun, you have daytime. When your side of Earth is not facing the Sun, you have nighttime. It's darker. We say that the sun rises and sets, but it does not. The sun only seems to move across the sky. It looks like it is moving because Earth is moving. It takes 24 hours for Earth to make one complete rotation. One complete rotation is one day. The stars appear to move through the night sky in two different ways. The first is due to the Earth's uh, rotation how long it takes the Earth to spin around its axis. This is what causes stars to appear to rise in the east, and they slowly, throughout the night, move 
towards the western sky, and finally at the end of the night they disappear. This is all due to the Earth's rotation. Another way that it appears the stars appear to move is due to the Earth's, the Earth's orbit around the Sun. Now, the Sun is in the center of our universe, excuse me, the center of our solar system, and the Earth goes around and it takes us 365 days. This is why sometimes you might see a constellation in the winter sky that looks like this, but a few months later you might see in the winter sky a different constellation that looks like this. This is because the Earth has changed its position in orbit. Think of it like this. Right now, the boy there is standing and he is facing the sun in this direction. But in a few months, he'll be over here and he'll be facing this direction where he can see a whole new set of stars. And then in a few more months, he'll be facing this direction and then in a few more months, he'll be facing that direction, which means each time he moves around, he'll be able to see a whole new set of stars. So remember, there's two different ways the stars change in the night sky. It's either depending on the rotation, which means the stars rise in the east and set in the west, or it's due to the revolution or orbit, which means you see different sets of stars at different times in the year. For our purposes, you need to know of the four stages of the moon. The moon has more than four stages, but we only have to learn four. I like to start with the new moon. The new moon is when it's completely dark and you can't see the moon. In a few, in a few days, you get what is called a first quarter moon, where the right-hand side of the moon is all lit up. Once the moon continues halfway around, it is now a full moon where one entire side of the moon is lit up. It begins its rotation back to the beginning where only the left hand side or the third quarter is lit up and finally it repeats itself. This cycle happens every about 28 or almost 29 days.